Station, what happened to my alarm clock? Station? Mom? Hey, where is everybody? What the? Mom, what's going on? I just woke up and it's already late and... Hey, how come she has my alarm clock? Please, Lloyd, not now. This is very complicated. I'm sewing your sister's costume for the school play. And the space-time continuum. But what about me? I... Excuse me, Lloyd, but you're in the way. I'm scanning the floor for a pin your mother dropped. But, but... Why do I bother? Nobody cares about me. Ow! You found it, Lloyd. Oh, sorry, honey. At least you're good for something. Oh. Man, I hate my life. First they swipe my alarm clock, then I got a pin stuck in my foot. I could have been killed. And no one even cares. I'm telling you, Eddie, I'm tired of being ignored. It's like I'm invisible. What'd you say? I wasn't listening. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, you carbon-based sex of goo. Pipe down and listen up. Wormhole National Park is at the far edge of this sector. That means we're stuck on this bus together for two whole hours. So keep those flaps of flesh you call lips buttoned, and we can all travel in peace. Have I made myself clear? Oh, you can use scepters. Okay, Hilly, let's roll. Uh, Wormhole National Park, that Grand Chasm. I haven't been there since I was a mere cerebellum. Grand Chasm? Hey, can we ride donkeys down in there? Oh, no, Kurt. A wormhole is actually more like a big, twisty tornado in the fabric of space. Some scientists believe anyone unfortunate enough to enter one would be ripped apart, shredded into his basic elements, and strewn throughout the galaxy. Others theorize that if one managed to enter a wormhole and survive, he could emerge in another part of the universe, perhaps billions of light years away, or even in another dimension. Whoa, are there a lot of these thingies around? Nobody knows. There may be millions. It may be that most of them are so minute, they're invisible to the naked eye. Yeah, invisible. I know how they feel. I'm a nobody. Brittany thinks everybody is a nobody. But in my case, she's right. Oh, come on. Cheer up, buddy. We're out of school for a day. We're one of the seven million natural wonders of the universe. And look, my mom packed a big, soft pulp gourd in my lunch. No, thanks. I'm not hungry. Oh, it's not for eating. It's for chucking into the wormhole. Not so <gasps> fast. It looked to me like you were about to hurl a pulp gourd into that wormhole. Pulp gourd? I didn't see any pulp gourd. Did you see a pulp gourd? No, saw a lovely wormhole. Didn't see no pulp gourd. I'm delighted to hear that, because park regulations clearly prohibit throwing foreign articles into the wormhole. This is one of our quadrant's most treasured landmarks, not a waste basket. All right, listen up. This is Ranger Wormy. He's going to be our tour guide for the afternoon. Please give him your full attention and try not to embarrass me for once. Thank you, Mrs. Bolt. Welcome to Wormhole National Park. As you can see, I am a worm person from the planet Dirton. I have heard all the ironic jokes concerning the fact that I am a worm person working at a wormhole. So no matter how funny you think your comments are, kindly keep them to yourselves. Now, before we begin the tour, are there any questions? Yes, you in the back. Do you have to be a worm to work at the wormhole? No. Are there any other questions? If we cut you in half, would you go into two rangers? No. Anything else? Oh, man, I gotta throw something in that wormhole. What'd you bring for lunch? Nothing. Moms don't make lunches for invisible boys. Oh, brother. Do you live in a house or a giant apple? Thank you. That's more than enough questions. Now, if you'll follow me, we'll head around to the other side of the wormhole to see the other side of the wormhole. No running or horseplay. We don't want anyone to get sucked into oblivion. Hey, Lloyd, check it out. Whoa, I'm gonna get sucked into oblivion. Come on, Eddie, that's not funny. The wormhole's gravity has got me. I am powerless to resist. No, really, Eddie, come on. You heard the ranger. Whoa! Eddie, cut it out. Lloyd! Told him not to goof around near the wormhole. I can't believe it. One of my three best friends got sucked into a wormhole. Oh, Douglas, is he? Do you think he was, you know? Maliciously ripped into some atomic particles and scattered across the galaxy? Perhaps we'll never know. <laughs> I'm. I'm okay. But I seem to be on some strange planet. Oh, some strange, smelly planet. But where? I could be anywhere in the universe. I could be millions, even billions of light years away. I could even be in another dimension. Oh my gosh, did you 
hear what happened? Huh? Some poor kid fell into the wormhole. No way. It's true. And the poor thing, he didn't even get to visit the gift shop. Wait a minute. That's my class. And they're still at the wormhole. All that falling through space and time, and I'm just like 30 feet from where I started. In a dumpster? Boy, some wormhole. <laughs> Such a catastrophe! Brittany? <laughs> I can't believe that sweet boy is gone! <laughs> he was like always so nice to me, and he was actually kind of cute! She said I'm cute! <laughs> oh, Megan, I know I never actually spoke to him or anything, but in a way, I kind of actually sort of liked Lloyd Nebulon! Me too! <laughs> <laughs> we'll all be derfed! Nebulon? Nebulon! Why Nebulon? Why? There, there, Mrs. Bolt. We're all overcome with emotion. Even Mrs. Bolt cares. It's just that it's such a tragic accident. How could it have happened? I don't know. One minute the kid's horsing around with the pulp court, the next he's gone. Eddie! I just hope wherever he is, he's doing a little less clowning around. Ow! What the f Lloyd? Lloyd! Buddy! Is that you? Shh. It really is you! You're okay! Wait a minute. What do you think you're doing in some dumpster being okay? Everybody's worried sick about you. You don't understand, Eddie. The wormhole just dumped me in here. Then I was about to climb out, and I started hearing people talk about me. They were all saying really nice things. Brittany even said I was cute. Get out of here. Cute. He was sweet, too. I like miss him so totally already. Me, too. I'm going to name my first hatchling after him. See? You know, buddy, you might be onto something here. Hang on, I'll be right back. Eddie, wait! Where are you going? Step aside, people. I've got a job to do. Hold this, Brittany. Like, huh? What are you doing, Horton? Lloyd Nebulon is my friend. And this friend of mine needs my help. I'm going in after him. Oh, man. But you could be, like, totally killed. That's a chance I'll have to take. Hang on, buddy. Eddie Horton's coming to get you. <gasps> Eddie, no! <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was the bravest thing I've ever seen. Ta-da. Never fear, Eddie's here. What the heck did you do that for? Same reason you did, to get a little of that praise and adoration. But I fell in by mistake, trying to save you. Jumped in, fell in, what's the diff? Either way, we're big winners. What do you mean? Look, all we gotta do is sit in here soaking up all the glory. When we're done, we just ask him to pull us out. It's the sweetest setup ever. And you know what? It's about to get even sweeter. I can't believe it. Now two of my three best friends got sucked into a wormhole. Did you hear that? Hello. Can anyone hear me? The wormhole is talking to us. Hello, Mr. Wormhole. No, Kurt. I think that's Eddie. Hey, everyone. I think I heard Eddie. <laughs> What's he saying? I can't hear him anymore. What do we do, Douglas? We need to devise some better means of communication. Some method of contacting him over vast interstellar distances. But how, Doug? How? I give you the soup can telephone. Crude, but effective. <laughs> Ow! Well, looky here. Ladies and gentlemen, we have established contact. Hello! This is Edward R. Horton, speaking to you from the far reaches of deep space. It really is, Eddie! Eddie, is Lloyd there with you? Yes, he's a little shaken up from the trip and all, but he might just pull through. Thank goodness! Tell me, friends, where are you? Uh, I don't know. We seem to be in some strange forbidden land. We're in a dumpster. Shh, I'm on a roll. Uh, as I was saying, things are looking real grim down here. Are you worried about us? We're worried sick about you. We love you, man. Now you don't hear that every day. Give me that can. Enough small talk, Horton. Can you and Nebulon get out of there or not? I just don't know, Mrs. Bolt. And the interdimensional journey has made us so... Weak. We need water. No, make, make that sodas. And maybe a nice pepperoni pizza. Now you're telling them to buy us food? Look, Lloyd, you're the one who's been grousing about how people treat you lousy. Now you got half the school out there practically begging to do anything you ask. I say roll with it. After the morning you had, don't you think it's time you got what's coming to you? Mrs. Bolt, you still there? Of course I am. Well, like I was saying, we need some sodas down here quick and some pizzas. Eddie, wait. Ask for gum. I mean, what's pizza without gum, right? And gum! Lots and lots of gum! Well, you heard him, Wormy! Those boys need sodas, pizzas, and gum! Pronto! Yes, ma'am. I'll hop to it. Do you think they'll be okay, Mrs. Bolt? Boys, I honestly don't know. Good one, Lloyd. Peppermint pepperoni pizza. Well, how is it? Cheesy? Yet chewy. Ah, a winning combination. You know, Lenny, I had my doubts. But you were right about this staying in the dumpster thing. I'm starting to feel better already. Me too. And I was feeling fine to start with. Nebula, Horton. Yellow, the fire department is here. Stand clear. They're sending down a ladder to bring you out. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, it was 
nice while it lasted, but I knew they'd try this sooner or later. Time for our easy exit. Whoa there, buddy. What do you mean? Whoa there, buddy. Well, I mean, what's the rush? I said I was starting to feel better. I didn't say I felt completely better. But there's sort of this ladder sticking out from the middle of the wormhole. We can't just ignore it. True, but we could do something like this. Ah! The rope ladder is going crazy! I can't control it! The gravitonic forces are whipping it around us in a mad frenzy! Gravitonic forces have ruined your shiny rope ladder! Nebula! Horton! Are you alright? Weak! Very weak! Can't hold on much longer! How can we help you? Please, tell us! Is there anything we can do? Oh, I can think of a few things. How about you? Boy, oh boy! Blow up chairs, comic books, pizza and TV, and a world of the smell of rotten garbage, I'd almost swear we were in heaven! And the best part is, when you're done with your soda, you don't have to carry it all the way to the trash can. <laughs> I understand you men have given you a thorough briefing on the situation. Hey, someone's talking about our situation. Let's see if they say anything nice about us. I know that things are serious, but you boys are still working on it, right? You're positive you've examined all the options? Sweet mother of both done, it's my dad and my mom! Commander Nebulon, Officer Horton, I assure you we're doing the best we can to save your boys. With all due respect, you need to do more. I want you to set up a command post and organize your men. We need answers now. Yes, ma'am. Oh, Nora, I can't believe it's come to this. I mean, you hear about this kind of thing happening all the time, but you never figure it'll happen to your kid. I know what you mean, Frank. Just this morning, I took Lloyd completely for granted. He had something he wanted to say to me, and I ignored him. I was so insensitive. She got that right. Commander Nebulon, Officer Horton, be right there. You coming, Nora? Go ahead, Frank. I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> phone set up. And you! I want a diagram of that wormhole! You're locked. She was crying. Eddie, suddenly I've got a crummy feeling about this whole thing. You know what? Me too. Uh, hello? I think we're ready to be rescued now. They're asking to be rescued. What do I tell them? Lloyd, honey, it's Mom. Now don't be scared. The rescue team has been trying to figure out a way to get you out, but... But what? The rope ladder, Lloyd. When they pulled it out of there, it had practically been destroyed. <laughs> oh, yeah, the ladder. Well, I'm sure if you try again, everything will be just dandy. I'm sorry, honey, but it's just too much of a risk to you and Eddie. The forces at work in that hole are too unstable. If we try again, we're afraid it could collapse the entire wormhole. Oh, great. So much for an easy way out. Hey, wait a minute. Why don't we just climb out of the dumpster, make like we fell from the sky, and tell them the wormhole spit us out? That's it. All we gotta do is wait till no one's watching. <laughs> uh, you were saying? We're doomed. T-shirts, get your t-shirts, play the wormhole too. Creatures from around the galaxy have converged here at Wormhole National Park drawn by the dark tragedy of two boys, swallowed up by the majestic but treacherous forces of nature. The atmosphere, though thin and artificial, is emotionally charged with the prayers and best wishes of those on hand. Oh, man, we are so derfed. The way I see it, we've got three choices. We can just come out, take the heat for playing everyone like a bunch of suckers, be grounded for the rest of our lives and have no friends, or we can stay here and live out our pathetic lives in a smelly, disgusting dumpster. And our third choice? I don't know. I was just spitballing. So what you're telling me is that throughout the entire galaxy, not one rescue agency has devised a plan for pulling people out of a wormhole? See, here's the deal. We're fully prepared to get your kids unstuck from a temporal rift or free them from a quantum singularity. That's the way you boys should have gone. But wormholes, well, they're tricky. No one knows much about them. I'm sorry, but I beg to differ. I am a wormhole expert. <gasps> it's Dr. Werner von Braun, the greatest mind in the universe. That's me. Now, if I am to believe Colin Chow from News at Four, you have two young boys here trapped in this wormhole. Would you? You do not know what to do. Do you think you can get them out? It is difficult, nearly impossible, but there is one slight chance of rescue. What's that, Doctor? A trans-dimensional polar reversal. <gasps> but, Doctor Von Brain, that's an untested hypothetical process. Some scientists believe that once the reversal has begun, it could start a chain reaction that would destroy the very fabric of the universe. Maverick, Schmabrick, you want the kids out or not? Let's get started, shall we? Eddie, we gotta go out there and tell them the truth. You heard what they said. If that guy throws a switch, he can destroy the whole universe. Yeah, but then again, if we stay in here, at least we won't get grounded. Eddie! 
This is a trans-dimensional polar reversal generator. When ice hose is switched, the wormhole will be reversed and your boys will be shot back out to us safe and sound. Uh, just one minute, Professor Von Brain. Yeah, good, Fräulein. You have a question? Yes, about this destruction of the universe business. Is that really possible? Oh, the percentages are the low. No more than 50-50. Well, here we go. 50-50? <laughs> So I just destroyed the wormhole, huh? Still, I guess it's better than nothing. And look, it's Lloyd and Eddie! <laughs> Hi, I guess you're probably wondering how we got here. I think it's obvious. Dr. Von Brain's device propelled you through the fabric of space, dropping you right here into our midst. It's a miracle! <laughs> oh, Lloyd, you're safe! Let me at you, son. I'm so happy to see you. Although I gotta say, bud, you sure do smell right. Yes. Where exactly was this place you were stranded? Well, you know, like I said before, it was kind of hard to tell. Whatever strange alien world we were stuck in, it was difficult to see past the clouds of sulfuric acid and all that lightning. It was a land of great danger. Millions, perhaps billions of miles away. And there were creatures. Bloodthirsty, carnivorous creatures. Ugh. To be honest with you, Mom, I don't know if I could really talk about this right now. Although, a brand new hover bike sure might help loosen me up. Sure, honey. After what you've been through, you can have whatever you want. Hey, that's what you guys smell like. A dumpster. Kind of like that one over there with all that neat stuff in it. Looks like the stuff we sent you. Funny. I wonder how it ended up in there. If I did know better, I'd say you were in that dumpster the whole time. <laughs> Idea. There you have it, folks. Live from Wormhole National Park. The truth, at last. Hey, look, it's Dumpster Boy. Wanna hear about my play, Dumpster Boy? No. Everybody loved me as a space-time continuum. I got lots of applause. Of course, on the other hand, I didn't get on TV. But on the other, other hand, I don't have everyone in the whole universe hating me because I was a big fat jerk. That's enough, Francine. Please let me talk to Lloyd alone. Fine. I'll read your minds from the living room. So, do you have anything to say for yourself? I'm sorry I made everybody worry so much, but it just felt kind of good getting all that attention. I mean, finally, people actually cared about me. Lloyd, you can't test how much people care about you by tricking them. Sooner or later, they'll figure out what you did to them, and when that happens, well, they just might stop caring about you for real. After all, if you treat people that way, they're going to have to wonder, just how much do you care about them? Okay. Okay. So let's go. Go? Where? Lloyd, you destroyed a national monument. You didn't think you'd get off without any punishment, did you? It's time for your community service. Community service? What community service? Oh, man! We gotta clean up all that? That's more trash than I've seen in my entire life! Well, boys, you caused the mess with your shenanigans, so you clean it up. That seems fair to me. Any questions? Do you have to be a warm person to work at Wormhole National Park? No. Has anyone ever tried to use you as bait? No. Do you consider it an insult when people mistake you for a slug? <sighs>